10 Places to Visit in Indonesia The Indonesian archipelago is a collection of islands that holds untold treasures in its diversity of cultures, landscapes, and cities. With nearly 13,500 islands under its jurisdiction, Indonesia offers an adventure for everyone. From exploring ancient temples and hiking active volcanoes to diving in largely untouched waters, you can wander the busy streets of Jakarta or take a step back in time with a visit to the remote villages of Tana Toraja, indulge in the bliss of Bali, or come face to face with the volatile Anak Karakato. Whatever you choose, the experience is sure to be one filled with awe and appreciation for a country as steeped in history and natural beauty as this one. Number 10. Raja Ampat Raja Ampat, meaning Four Kings, is an archipelago comprising islands. The fairyland of lush cone-shaped islands set against blue and turquoise waters is one of Indonesia's most spectacular sights. Hundreds of islands and caves make up this tropical paradise, but the beauty extends beneath the surface as well. Colorful fish and a diverse variety of marine life thrive in the warm, clear waters. In fact, the coral reefs here are some of the most biodiverse on the planet, making it a popular area for diving in Indonesia. Number 9. Lake Toba Another of Indonesia's natural wonders, Lake Toba is both a body of water and a supervolcano. It may sound like a riddle, but Lake Toba is situated on an island. The lake, which sits in a crater, was formed between 69,000 and 77,000 years ago and is believed to have been the result of a catastrophic eruption. The lake is 1,145 square kilometers and 450 meters deep. Volcanic activity is still regularly recorded here and has pushed some islands above the water's surface. Lake Toba is a study in beauty and the powerful forces at work on the planet. Here, you can go swimming, water skiing, canoeing, or fishing, or stick to wandering the surrounding area on foot or bike. Number 8. Mount Bromo Indonesia sits on the Ring of Fire, an area with some of the most active volcanoes in the world. Many of the country's volcanoes, such as Mount Merapi, are famous for their violent eruptions and their stunning but dangerous beauty. Mount Bromo, or better known as Ganang Bromo, is a volcano in the active state and one of the must-visit places in Indonesia. Mount Bromo is among the best known thanks largely to its incredible views, particularly when seen standing over the caldera at sunrise. Bromo's peak was blown off in an eruption, and you can still see white smoke spewing from the mountain. The volcano is part of Bromo Tengger Samaru National Park, which also includes Mount Samaru, the highest peak in Java. The park is home to the Tengger people, an isolated ethnic group who trace their ancestry back to the ancient Majapahit Empire. Number 7. Banda Islands Bali and Lombok are tried and true vacation spots for a reason, but the lesser known Banda Islands have their own appeal as an off the beaten path getaway. This cluster of 10 islands sits at the edge of the Banda Sea, whose depths reach more than 6,500 meters. The Bandas have long been on the radar of those involved in the spice trade, thanks to their rich source of nutmeg. Called Eastern Indonesia's best kept secret, the Bandas had untold thrills for divers and sailors in particular. Pristine dive sites offer a chance to spot sharks, sea turtles, whales, the endemic Ambon scorpionfish, lobsters, and a plethora of other creatures. Number 6. Kalimantan Borneo Few places suggest wild, untamed adventure like Borneo. One of the most ecologically diverse places on Earth, Borneo is home to orangutans, exotic birds, Sumatran rhinos, pygmy elephants, and an array of other creatures. In Kalimantan, in Indonesian Borneo, you can travel down the Kapas River, the longest in Indonesia, visit villages of the indigenous Dayak people, and observe foreign influences from China, Malaysia, and even Europe in the ports and cities along the way. You can also go trekking in the rainforest for a chance to see some of Borneo's famed wildlife in person. Bukit Baka Bukit Raya National Park is a conservation area in West Kalimantan that includes two of the highest mountains in Borneo and supports wildlife such as orangutans, clouded leopards, slow lorises, sun bears, and many other species. Number 5. Komodo National Park Sun-baked Komodo is a wild and inhospitable place. Who hasn't dreamed of seeing a dragon at least once in their life? The Komodos of Indonesia are no mythical creatures. However, they are fierce and deadly animals. 
Komodo National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, encompasses five main islands and a number of smaller ones, as well as the surrounding marine areas. The waters off these islands are some of the richest and most diverse in the world. The Komodo dragons are the stars of the show on any visit to the park, but visitors can also hike, snorkel, go canoeing, or visit small villages on the islands. Another highlight is Pink Beach on Komodo Island. This stretch of pink sand is one of the top beaches in Indonesia. Number 4. Gili Islands The Gili Islands are a major draw in Lombok, which has risen in popularity among backpackers and tourists over the years. These picturesque islands offer beaches that rival those of Bali in their beauty, as well as opportunities for diving and even snorkeling at a turtle sanctuary. If you're looking for more turtle action, you can check out a turtle hatchery where hundreds of these creatures are born each year. Kayaking is also popular in the Gillies, and if you're seeking a place to reconnect with your mind and body, you'll find several options for yoga classes. The Gili Islands provide a more relaxed, though still stimulating, alternative to popular Bali. Number 3. Lombok Lombok has risen and risen out of obscurity in the last couple of decades to become something of the thinking man's alternative to Bali. With less of the gaudy bars and super clubs of Kuta, this one retains the rustic, ramshackle feel of old Indonesia. Make a beeline for Salt Wash Sangigi on the western shore. Here, traditional Ra Rang Homi local taverns serve up spicy noodle fries and peanut packed satay dishes close to the shore. There are surfing opportunities aplenty too, from Kuta Lombok in the south to the petty coves that fringe the coconut groves all along the west coast. Number 2. Bora Budar This ancient temple is one of the most famous and culturally significant landmarks in Indonesia. Bora Budar was built in the 8th century and constructed in the shape of a traditional Buddhist mandala. It is one of the top UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is considered one of the greatest Buddhist sites in the world. The massive temple was forgotten for centuries when it is believed that much of the population moved to eastern Java due to volcanic eruptions. But it was rediscovered in the 1800s and today, it is one of the main draws in Java. Visit at sunrise for a torch-lit climb up the temple and for the breathtaking experience of watching as the complex is bathed in sunlight. Buro Budar lies near Yogyakarta, an old Javanese city known for its rich cultural and historical offerings. Number 1. Bali Arguably Indonesia's most popular vacation spot, Bali has a number of cultural landmarks and traditions that make a visit here worthwhile. But for many people, Bali is about the island's beautiful beaches. If a beach vacation is what you're looking for, you may want to head to one of Bali's luxury beach resorts and spend some time soaking up the sun. Anyone who travels to Bali is going to have warm sand and blue water on their mind, and the island doesn't disappoint. Kuta is the best known beach and is great for those who like to combine sun, surfing, and socializing. Because of its popularity, you'll find no shortage of restaurants and things to do here. If you're looking for something a little quieter and less crowded, Nusa Dua is still a beauty but draws fewer tourists. Sanir is the place to go for a little more culture as well as great water sports.